I didn't see you there. Welcome back. Welcome back again. Uh, back on the Martin. I found some some more funkiness. Remember that funkiness I showed you back here with those bridge pins and stuff? Well, I found more funk. Uh, been a lot of talk uh, about, well, there was a few months ago, about not oiling your fretboards. And if you put oil on your fretboards, why not put it inside the guitar? A bunch of crazy madness. Anyways, I want to show you, uh, let me get the camera in hand. I'm bringing, I'll show you what I found. A lot of funk. Hold on. This guitar has got a plate mate installed in it, as you can see there. I really like those. Those are a good thing. They save your bridge plate from getting all marred up by the balls of the uh, strings. Anyways, check this out. I never noticed this fretboard being cracked like that. There's one, two, three, four frets, and it's coming almost up five frets. But that's a, a crack in that fretboard itself. Now I felt up under here and I don't feel anything that's cracked. There's a little crack right there. But that wouldn't have anything to do with this. I'm going to slide the mirror up there in a minute and look up underneath this area. I can't feel anything. But uh, I'm going to fix this crack today. This crack. And uh, But I want to show you what I found. Check this out. I'm just looking back into the guitar, and there I think you can see it. Look at that. Someone put a cleat in there. For one thing, the cleat is turned wrong. They have the grain of the wood of the cleat running the same way as the grain of the wood here in the top. But for another thing, it's not even on the crack. Check that out. They missed the crack, man. I'm assuming that that's what they tried to glue because there's no crack where the where the cleat is. Here's the crack. The cleat is right under this marking right here. That's uh, just a scratch in the finish. But that cleat is under that. It's not over the crack. It's under this. Anyways, I wanted to show you that uh, and that cracked fretboard. Folks, that's what happens over time. If you do not oil your fretboard... You know, that right there is why you should oil it. Martin even says so on their website. They tell you what to oil it with. They do not tell you not to oil it. They uh, have a recommendation of what to oil it with. Like I said in my fretboard oil video, you know, that, that looks like a crack there too. It is. Here and here and here. And very possibly, I don't know about right there. Yeah. So there's a, there's more cracks. But that's what happens, folks. If you don't uh, if you don't oil your fretboard, it's going to happen sooner or later. Hold on, let's go to work on this crack. A couple of points of interest here. I've never, I never noticed that until now. There's one reason this guitar sounds so good. Not just the plate mate, but the bridge plate is made of rosewood. Check that out. But look at this. Uh, there you can see the crack, the cleat they put in, and the crack in the top of the guitar, okay? Now, if we look on back, yeah, I can't get everything in the hole, okay? What you're looking at there is the tail block, and it's cracked too. Not exactly in line with the crack in the top of the guitar, but... Alrighty then. What we're going to do, I know this is a funky looking contraption, but it works. I've done it many times before, <clears throat> and it does work. Uh, I'm going to pour a, a little bead of glue all along this line. Okay, then I'm going to take a, a suction cup like this. 
I don't have you in the camera very good, do I? Let me bring you in a little closer. Pour a bead of glue all the way up the line, all the way up to the bridge. Take this suction cup and, uh, man, it's sucking right on there, too. Pump the glue down into the crack, okay? As much as I can get till I see it through the mirror here, coming through the inside. Because, like I say, I can take a light and hit that and look in the mirror, and I can see actual open cracks in there. And then once I pump the glue down in there and I see it coming through the inside, I'm going to tighten this up. And uh, I may have to put a piece, another piece of foam right here. Anyways, I'm going to tighten this up. That'll pull the thing together this way. Tightening this up. I can't hardly see the camera. I think it's in there. So, let's get on with it. Let's do it! I have, uh, oh yeah. Once I have that glued and uh, the band clamp tight, or ratchet straps, all it is. They make, very again, Stumac makes a, uh, I think they call it a band clamp or something. A ratchet strap serves the same purpose. If it's got rubber protective on it and, and you use foam or some means to help protect the, the instrument, ratchet strap does the same job. Once we get this tight, get glue in it and get it tight and cleaned up, this is going to, I'm going to put a cleat inside. Uh, the wood grain in this will be running the opposite direction of this wood grain, which runs, you know, up and down the guitar. This will be right in the center of the crack, and it'll run in opposite direction, the wood grain wheel. And, I don't know, I'll use maybe, maybe a jack like that. Or it might be easier just to put a prop in there, a wedge. I cut these out for different jobs. I got a bunch of them different lengths. Or I might use a C clamp and just reach back in there, put a block and a piece of leather on top here, clamp a C clamp. It doesn't have to be that tight on on this uh, this little block here, the cleat. So, anyways, I just wanted to throw that bit of free information into you. I say I just want to run a a little bead of glue all the way up through here. And then we'll work it in. I hope you're not getting a good shot of the back of my head. Okay, here we go. This works wonders. I did this for many years this way, and it always works good. My suction cup pumps that glue down into places that it normally wouldn't run by itself. Okay. plenty of time to wipe this off so there's really no need to be in a hurry for it. Now I want to check in there and see if we have anything ran out like a tiny bit of squeeze out is what it'll look like. And yes we do. Is good. All right. Actually, I think I want to get in there and wipe some squeeze out away so I can tell if I got more or not. You know what I mean? When I tighten the clamp. I'll be able to see if I got any more squeeze out. 
It's a strange place that they put that cleat. That's really weird. All right, here we go. It's already getting pretty tight. Good there. I need to pull the whole thing up a little bit. Yes. Yeah, it's getting tight. Getting tight. Give it a little bit of squeeze out up here. Not bad. This uh, water in this rag will help that glue even more to run down inside. You can even feel that now. So I'm going to check for squeeze out again. Oh, the mirror rolled away. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Mitchell's plate mate. He's got a plate mate in it. Okay. Uh, let me look in here. Make sure I got it all. That is so weird, man. That they they put a cleat in there and missed the crack. Very weird. I'm going to go right between those two voicing bars with my little cleat. If I can find it. Let's see. I need to figure out where that's going to be exactly. Alright, I want my cleat to go right beside that one. So I figured out a way to put more foam under here, lift this up, and got it a little tighter too. You can't even feel that crack. You can barely feel the crack a little bit now. But uh, I went ahead and I've got glue on my uh, cleat. And right now I'm just waiting on this glue to uh, cure a little bit. Let it set up just a little bit, a few minutes, before I actually put it inside the guitar. I've already had my hand in there. I've done two or three test runs. I can reach in there and feel where that old cleat is. And I want to slide my cleat <clears throat> and put it on the top up here. Slide it right over to against that old cleat. and I'll use it as a, uh, a landmark, if you will. <laughs> If such a thing exists in a guitar. Yeah, that should work okay. I should be able to put it right over the crack, slide it right up against the, the old cleat that's in there. And uh, like I say, I'm just waiting right now for this glue to kind of set up a little bit better. And we're going to put this puppy in tonight. Tonight! Hopefully get more of the glue on the guitar than I do my hand. Well, welcome back again, friends. It's been uh, 12 hours now, and I'm going to go ahead and take this horrible looking device off of the guitar. We'll check the uh, cleat inside and uh, begin to move forward. So, uh, oh man, she did it again. Hold on a minute. You gotta stop getting in those guitar holes, Cuball. You gotta quit getting in people's guitar holes like that. 
Good girl. Anyway, here she is, folks. She climbed down in that guitar hole and went to sleep, I guess. She's like me. She just loves the guitar, I guess. Anyways, let me get the camera in hand, and we will uh, we'll get into this thing. Hold on. So, I put the... Uh, put a, ja a prop in there to hold up the uh, I can't see the camera very well put that in there to hold the cleat up and I put a bowl with a very wet cloth in there let it set for the last 12 hours or so still have a mirror in there too Get this off of it so she can breathe again. You can tell I had some pressure on it. good the top looks good on that uh, joint what I can see of it so far now I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not that top is it's not bellied up it's hooved in in the center and the reason for that it's not as bad as it was 12 hours ago the guitar is very dry there you can see it I think I don't know if the camera's getting it or not, but I'll do the old paper trick. You can see that goes right underneath there. Same thing back here. It's uh sinking, sinking down in, you know, from being so dry. So when we get done, I'm gonna put this wet cloth back in there. It soaked a lot of it up too. Well, let me get the camera in hand here, and we will. Uh, have a look. Okay, so right there you can see the uh, the cleat that was already in there. I just put mine right up against it, the side of it. Mine's the one that's actually on the crack. <laughs> the other one, I guess they missed a the crack when they did that. I had that prop in there holding it up and been in there for 12 hours so it's good to go. That crack will never open up again. And uh, I don't know what how they could have missed putting the cleat on the crack and not even though they did that. I mean that cleat that they put in is not doing anything. And there's the, the plate mate we talked about. Makes a huge difference in guitars. Like I said before, that's just uh, double sided tapes. All it holds that on there. I would urge you to try one of those. It saves your bridge plate. And if you don't like it, you know, all you gotta do is go in there with a, a knife or a screwdriver and pull it out the tapes all it's holding it. The strings of course hold it when they're on but when you have all the strings off like this the tape is what holds it. And you can see the cracked uh, rear block back there. I don't know what's up with that but definitely cracked. So uh, anyways there she be folks. I can barely feel that. I'll show you what I was talking about a minute ago. See, there's no belly here. It's uh, sunk in, sucked in belly. Like it's lost weight. See that? And that's from being so dried out. Now you can see here the uh, where it's caved in, what I was talking about. No belly here. It's just uh, so dried up, it's caved in. See that? But, you know, a little humidity inside the box will fix that. Get a pick guard cut out and put on here. And uh, I need to find that stuff and do that. But I'm going to, uh, all I'm going to do now is just put, uh, put the, uh, there's a look at the crack again. I'm just going to put the humidity back inside of it. Put uh, 
cover the hole up and let it set for a few more days and then we'll tackle this next. Either that or pick guard. I'm not sure which. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. Cheers to you. I'll see you on uh, the next video of this guitar. By the way, once I get that humidified, I got the sound hole sealed off. I just got that laying over it, but sealed off. Once we get it humidified, I'm going to take a razor blade like this and some 3M Scotch tape on each side of it, and I will get a burr on this razor blade by running it across a piece of metal and we'll come back here and scrape all the way up this this entire crack like I say right now it wouldn't do any good to do it because it's it's uh, caved in the sharp part of the razor blade like this wouldn't even touch the crack right now but once we humidify it I'll show you it'll come up and then we'll take this and lightly go over that crack and shave it down you, know, you can just barely feel it a tiny bit right now. Very little bit. But uh, we feel it even less after we run the blade over it. We'll do that probably on the next video. Cheers to you. See you then.